So the phrase that's really strong with me at the moment is everything that's happened before leads to this moment, um, these moments of the pandemic. I'll just share with you briefly part of my journey. Um, as I was growing up, I always used to have a Ventolin inhaler. Allergies to house dust, rabbit fur, horse hair, dog's hair. Um, I wasn't labelled as asthmatic, but I was given the, the Ventolin. And um, two or three years ago, I went through winter and I had pneumonia and that was a first for me. It was uh, quite shocking and uh, people said that I should have steroids and everything, but I didn't. I, I had illuminations instead. <laughs> illuminations and held in people's maces and complete trust in my soul's journey and um, got through that winter okay then the following winter um, I had pneumonia again so I thought right this is another opportunity to go deeper you know what's the core of this issue in my lungs and I got to the core um, I got to the issue, to the deep grief and the deep sadness that had been held in my lungs for so many years. And um, through the process of the, the illumination, um, part of my homework from that was to do a painting. And I did a painting and I got all the grief out and I did an, an amazing painting. Um, and since that moment, I haven't had one crackle in my lungs. I. I don't even know where my Ventolin inhaler is. Um, and as I step out in the world, you know, as a caregiver for the elderly, um, in this time of the pandemic, I don't have any fear. Um, I check in with my lungs. I would once have been classed as vulnerable, uh, but now I'm not. Um, my lungs are clear, my lungs are strong, and I can... Um, be who I came here to be at this moment in time. So thanks to this work, um, yeah, it's awesome. Thanks for listening.